Knife Dope. More dope. Come and get your beaks. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Got one tonight we're going to be taking a look at. That is a rarity for my channel. That's right. I think I've only ever looked at a knife like this twice. Uh, yep, I believe that's right. Only two other times have I ever checked out one of these types of knives for the channel. So consider yourselves lucky. Actually, I consider myself pretty lucky. Uh, this is coming from a brand that is wildly popular. Um, so I basically, I'm sent here to find out if the juice is worth the squeeze. You know I never shit you, right? So uh, let's find out. Tonight's unboxing knife is this legendary knife from Spyderco. One that has just been recently discontinued. Uh, we're looking at the Spyderco Swayback. Buttery goddamn smooth action. Mine has broken in so lovely. We've got CTS XHP for the blade steel. Mine has got a little bit of tape residue -doo, doo on it. High, high uh, hollow grind. This is a fucking cutting machine, people. I shit you not. Contour titanium scales. I think right now you can get it for damn near half price. I bought mine for three inch, three and some change, and I've seen them as low as about one, one eighty nine or something like that. Great time to pick it up. Okay, um, let's get to the dope. Uh, but first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. God damn it, it does help the channel. It does trick that algorithm, and it does help your boy to go viral. Okay, enough of that shit. This knife was sent to me um, by, I think, Knife Nerdery, something like that. But this knife actually belongs to Lefty. Shout out to Lefty, Lefty EDC. And um, to be honest with you, he is not very keen to loan out his Jack Wolf knives. He'll loan you anything else to check out. But he really does not like to let these out. So, you know, that was a first for him as well. So thanks to him. The one we're taking a look at is the Venom Jack. Now, I just got my first uh, Jack Wolf knife recently. However, that was their first locking knife. They are known primarily for their slip joints. So that's what it is we're going to be taking a look at tonight. This is the boxes that they normally send them in. Now, some of the... Some of the acclaim for his uh, knives also is the, you know, the, the presentation. It, uh, they all come in one of these tubular containers and they are adorned with fantastic art, art artistry. Uh, I believe the artist's name is Sean Tiffany. I had heard rumors along the lines of he, he was a, an artist for, for Marvel or something like that. Don't necessarily know if that's true, but that's what I had heard. Uh, so we can see here on this one, we've got a venomous snake. I don't know what type of snake that is. Goddamn anaconda or something. But there goes Venom Jack. All right. We have the Jack Wolf logo on the, 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 the cap of the tube. All right. There's always a puck with them. And there goes the artwork once again. Now, this knife was released in December of 2022. So they are long gone. But you might be able to find them on the secondary, even though... Hardly ever do people resell these uh, these Jack Wolf knife slip joints. And if they do, they're at a premium. All right, these come with the slip. Now, if you are looking for a good good price slip, uh, my Ace Boom Coon partner in crime, one half of the Blade Cartel, Duty Low, a.k.a. Kev from Duty's Daggers, he is now making slips. So give him a shot. Tell him Knife Dope sent you. All right, there's also a sticker in here. Let's check the sticker out. What is best in life? Crom. The fuck? What does that even mean, people? No idea. But that comes with the knife also. Enough of the accessories. Let's get to the dope. All right. They all come in this high quality soldier rag, which is really nice. I love me a good soldier rag. And here goes the fucking knife. Look at that, people. Now, this comes in at $275 for this configuration. I believe um, 
They had some other versions at the time that were about 300, uh, and I think they had a different inlay, I think perhaps carbon fiber or something. Uh, but right out the gate, we've got this beautiful natural micarta, high quality micarta, I might add. Fit and finish is, is what we would expect from a company like Riot. Now I say that, but Jack Wolf has never released the OEM information, but there has been tons of speculation. You know, um, I don't necessarily know why he doesn't release that information. I had heard that the reason why he doesn't release it is because he doesn't want other knife designers, uh, you know, taking his company and making them, you know, busy, I guess. I don't know, who fucking knows. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a beautiful piece of art right here. Nice contouring on those uh, inlays. Look at that back spring. Fantastic. I mean, it's just fucking gorgeous. No spacing, no gaps, just solid, solid precision. We have a nail neck here, so let's check it out. Okay. That initial pull is kind of light, not very hard. That secondary pull, though, is where it's at. Look at that fucking blade. Nice full-length hollow grind on that thing. Rocking Bowler M390 blade steel. We've got a handle length that comes in at 3.8 inches. Uh, overall size of the knife is 6.8. I think this blade is three inches. We've got a uh, cutting length because we got that, that tang and that uh, choil. Cutting length coming in at 2.7. Nice uh, slicey blade here. Blade stock is 12 hundredths of an inch. I think they call this a trapper style slip joint. Uh, I would just refer to this as a Warrencliffe, but you know. You gotta forgive me, I am not up to par on my slip joint lingo. We've got a integrated bolsters or an integral bolster lock or what appears to be a bolster lock. It looks fucking good. Bead blasted finish on that titanium. All the hardware is polished titanium as well. I know that the overall weight on this is 2.5 ounces, so a very lightweight knife. Ergonomically, fits in the hand fantastic. You don't have to worry about any uh, pocket clips giving you any type of hot spots. It is a slim knife, but you know that is the case with most slip joints. Let's put up some size comparisons to give you guys a better idea on the size of this thing. Basically a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. Now I only have two other slip joints in the collection, so you know I was about to use them fucking things, don't you? First up, Budget Wonder. We're looking at the Rough Rider Apta. Now listen to this one. Those acoustics rival this fucking Jack Wolf. I don't care what you say. Now, obviously, it can't hold uh, it can't hold its weight as far as quality goes, but we can see that the uh, Venom Jack is bigger than the Apta. Next up, my only other slip joint in the collection, but it's a damn good one. This one is the Lion Steel Thrill. <clears throat> no match for the acoustics, but it is a fantastic knife nonetheless. So we can see that the Venom Jack is a little bit smaller than the Thrill. Let's do some mo, shall we? Let's take it over to some uh, locking knives because that's my specialty. First up, we're talking about this one, the Kaiser Veritas. Shout out to Jacob Lundquist, great man doing great things. And we can see that the Venom Jack is smaller than that. Next up, got to keep it in the family, Jack Wolf Gunslinger. God damn, I love that knife. I am eagerly anticipating his next locking knife to uh, to drop. Uh, but we can see that the Venom Jack is also smaller than that. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. Got to bring you some more Spyderco vibes. You know how we do. And let's bring some USA vibes into the building. None better than this one. The River's Edge Cutlery Exclusive Mannix. So we can see that the... Uh, Venom Jack is no match for the overall size of that Mannix. Last but certainly not least, possibly the perfect EDC. We're looking at the Sage 5 lightweight rendition, rocking those Parsons Blade Works titanium scales. So we can see that once again, that Venom Jack is smaller than that. Well, people, what do I think? I'll tell you what I think. I am still not a slip joint guy. Yeah, this is nice beautiful but um i just uh i don't see myself spending anything close to 275 on any slip joint maybe one day just not today but nonetheless this is a great knife i'm thankful that i was able to check it out 
What do you fuckers think? Are you a slip joint fan? <clears throat> Are you a fan of Jack Wolf knives? Tell me all about it. Love you mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!